Hey everyone, wow it's been a while since I've seen this camera of my man Oh my god, I'm shooting today's video on my trusty old Lumix GH5 well, Let me know what you think of the quality, it's been a few years But anyways, I thought I'd give everyone an update about the Telegram chat that I created slightly over two days um, Now we have got about almost 490 people inside the group chat so I think it's getting quite a bit of traction. I also have people, you know, uh, sending me DMs, uh, dropping me messages. Um, I thought I'd make a video, you know, so that it's a little bit easier for everyone to understand. Now, I think there was some thought that I actually put into the name Sovereign Riders Singapore. Now, I let's give a little bit more clarity on what so being sovereign means. Sovereignty is the inherent and independent right to do all that is necessary to govern oneself so hence the name sovereign riders right having an independent right to do all that is necessary for a delivery and you don't have to depend on anyone so if you're a rider you're a delivery uh rider or a driver you can actually just go into the group chat um and look out for jobs uh we this movement started out because i am part of the fmb scene in singapore i don't know a scene that i care very passionately about as well and um obviously i see everyone frantically trying to look for drivers literally inspired by that but of course for all uh, for all my subscribers out there you guys know that i'm also crazy i used to be crazy about my pmds and everything so this is another another group of people that i know as well so that is the main reason behind um, sovereign writer singapore and you know i speak in phase one phase two phase three is because phase one was actually um trying to bring people in you know and get a good good mix of uh, operators and uh, riders inside and then with phase two you know we see people you know with attraction you know um, getting some traction more people will, will participate um, in this uh, community driven effort basically uh, for phase three you can have um, customers who will then go into the group chat themselves they will arrange their own uh, food to be collected by a driver so they go in to actually lo uh, locate or, or find a driver to fulfill that delivery um, because you see this is all based on trust right um, as it is what we know now is that you know with all these online platforms everyone's getting fleece the operator gets fleece 20 percent 25 percent 30 percent um, the riders also get fleeced by the by the platforms and there are customers out there that know that it's not wise to actually uh, order from all these uh, platforms so what they would do is uh, they'll call their favorite hawker they'll call their favorite restaurant pay them uh, pay the restaurants directly and then after that um, they can inform the establishment that hey I will take care of the delivery they can then make use of Sovereign Riders Singapore get in the group chat and immediately they can locate a driver to pick up the food for them now there's also a phase 4 obviously the phase 4 can be extended to any business owner that doesn't just do food uh, small time carpentry uh, guys you know they can list uh, very big products uh, you know riders or drivers with a car or a vehicle can make a delivery uh, to the customer and then uh, there is also uh, giving back to the community kind of a, a ecosystem where you know there are uh, it can be charity driven or it can be you know like just now you know I was uh, just before I did this video there was this person that actually um, posted a job you know and said it was for charity and there was just somebody who actually responded to say that he would do the delivery she or she would actually do the delivery for free so I mean that's pretty outstanding and and for all uh, and for everyone else who's been sending me dms about um creating an app or whatever now look uh i just want to put this out there and um uh, and be very very upfront and straightforward about things um uh, it's it's impossible to to be doing something like that um or rather it's very difficult for something like this to like take off if you have a hidden commercial agenda behind it uh, I mean, let's be real. Um, we already had like so many online platforms, and every other day there's another online platform coming up. I mean, come on. Everyone is obviously uh, being quite commercial about those platforms, right? I mean, why else we invest in time and money, especially money? You know, uh, 
it's just not gonna, it's not gonna get anywhere and then there's all these uh, Facebook groups you know that's like popping up you know uh, like two days after I did this say, uh, sovereign writers thing you know I've got like Facebook groups you know popping up saying that oh you know we deliver blah 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 you know and everything look you want to start a movement you got to be responsible for it in this case I'm taking the lead here by trying to explain what the movement is all about what sovereign writers Singapore is all about whether it comes to something or nothing I have no commercial interest behind this endeavor so uh, that's my disclaimer and I just want to put it out there and for anyone else who wants to do any um, app you know to 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 so-called um, unify my effort or to 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 value add to my effort you guys by all means uh, just do it um, uh, whatever but like I said, your intentions cannot be commercial, especially at this point in time. It's gonna have if you're gonna have a commercial interest behind any of these endeavors, then seriously save yourself the time, you know, because it's not gonna take off and it's just gonna come crashing down. Um, the same way all these online platforms have been fleecing everyone else for such a long time. Uh, I think enough is enough, and at this critical period. Um, and the, and the worst thing is we do not know when uh, this thing is going to come back and bite us and bite us again. So I think it's earlier to start, um, uh, I mean, to, to, to talk to your friends, uh, to, to let your friends know about what Sovereign Writers Singapore is all about. Um, I mean, it's, it's a very small movement, but I think it's necessary and I think it works. And um, I hope uh, anybody who watches this video knows exactly what I'm talking about. The link is below the, to, the, to the Telegram group chat. Uh, I started a Facebook group, but seriously, I have no idea why people still use Facebook these days. It's so lame. But anyway, I... Okay, fine. I'm guilty of using Facebook because I use it to rant a lot. Just to conclude, um, the link is below. Check it out. Let people whom you think can benefit from this, uh, share it with them. And uh, the, for all the writers out there, uh, please log on. You know, we need, uh, we need more people uh, to do uh, deliveries. So get the job done. You know, everyone's happy. Stay safe. Uh, don't go out of your house. Stay at home. You know, and spend time with family. I know for some of you it can be quite difficult. Like uh, the reason why I'm doing this video in my room right now is because uh, my wife is um, screaming her head off at my kids. Uh, yeah, it happens, man. Wait till you guys have kids. But anyway, stay safe. See you guys. Bye.